this is a demo store and you can see common web store functionality. The design is completely responsive. All the product content comes from Perfion. So let's log in. I could decide to subscribe to this website as well, but I will use an existing account so that I get recognized. You can see that now the content changes based on the fact that I'm logging in as Dave and Dave is recognized as an existing customer. When we look at a product detail page, and we'll just pick a random product, then you can see a description coming right here. There is a possibility for an extended description and specifications that can come from Perfion as well. And these are all fields that you can decide to hide or show depending on, of course, whether it's applicable to the products and if you even want to show them. Other elements on this page like inventory information and the actual customer specific price are retrieved from NAV. So the information you see on this page is a combination of all the integrated systems, NAV for the actual business logic, Perfion for the content about the particular product and the images, and then you can go from there. I'll actually show you a different category, notebook for example, where we have more extended information and product attributes. So you can see that right here, you see products that can be associated with that original product. So this is all relationships and business logic coming from NAV. When we go into the card, then at this point there is a temporary sales order created in NAV. You see that a service charge is added, a specific quantity based discount is applied and tax is being calculated. And again there you benefit of an integrated approach. The fact that tax is being calculated in NAV means that it will also show up on the web store. So you only have to tackle that piece of the puzzle once in NAV and from there on it will show up. You could request a quote first, but let's proceed with the checkout. We'll quickly go through this. The build to and ship to addresses are retrieved from NAV, so you can decide to use those or select a different ship to address. I'll stick with the original one. Then the shipping costs and methods are retrieved from NAV. So again, if you have an add-on in your NAV that calculates and shows the different options, then that's being displayed here and of course based on the dimensions of the items that are part of the order. We can enter a reference number, some comments, a requested delivery date. It's really as if you are keying in an order directly into the NAV client. That's all the logic that's being triggered. Submitting the order right now brings it straight to NAV. It's not stored in SANA. If you click on the go to order page, you'll find the information about the order right away. You can also at all times go to the my account page. Here you see the last three by default, but you can also do a view all. And then it retrieves all the orders that are known for this customer in NAV. So also the ones you call in or use email or fax, the ones that are hand keyed by your customer service department, all the orders will show up here the moment that they are stored in NAV. So the top one is the one that we just looked at. And you see additional information is entered by NAV the shipment date, the warehouse where it's coming from, who is the actual buyer, payment status, all those kind of things. You can turn on or off the option to have a customer edit the order as long as the status is pending. This button can also be disabled or even hidden so that people cannot change it. And the reorder button is used a lot to basically repeat any order from the past and again, even one that can be called in and it simply places all the items in the card to renew the checkout. To close the circle of the order, this is order 1077. When we go into NAV and we go take a look at that particular order, then we see that right here with all the populated information and let's just assume that the customer is not allowed to make the change. Let's change the quantity to two right here in NAV. When we go back into the web store and we refresh the screen or re-enter it, and I'll refresh it right now, then you see that the quantity changed to two as well. And that is truly the benefit of the integrated solution. The fact that you have one single source for this information makes it so easy to manage. And the same goes for product information. The single source in that case is Perfion. That's how it shows up in the NAV client. It shows that way in the web store. So you are not constantly copying information and making sure that you make a change in the correct location. Everything is kept 100% real-time with those kind of elements.